eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, you can hear them spinning up. But Emulsifier, oh, no, Emulsifier's weapon is back up. Big shower of sparks. Oh! oh! And Emulsifier kicks Nautilus in the air. Yeah, that's just a big reach on Emulsifier. Nautilus just got its one free save from Fluffy, but Emulsifier is there right in its face with the pin up against the rails. Emulsifier's weapon is not firing up. Not sure if that's on purpose, if they're just enjoying their pin. Wow. Yeah, but Nautilus, you can hear it just stomping around inside of the box. Sounds like thunder. Seriously, it fills this entire place with this thunderous sound as it goes around on the box with its hollow floor. The table is moving, Kyle. Yeah, it's all shaking. Emulsifier's weapon is down. Nautilus is stomping toward its opponent. Can it land a big hit? Yeah, if they're going to, now is the opportunity. It seems like they're not able to get underneath of Emulsifier's wedge, so they're gonna have to be able to get to the side of it. And unfortunately, as mobile as this, uh, this Shufflebot is, that's still a pretty tall order. Amazingly, Emulsifier has, uh, has survived. Wow. Big shower of sparks. Nautilus is trying to spin up its weapon to get out and, and, and make purchase here in this exchange. Not sure how that's going to end up working out for them. It's pretty hard to get enough torque to get yourself out when you're running these shuffle bots or the shuffle configuration. Another big shower of sparks. That'll buff right out, Kyle. Wow. And Emulsifier has pinned Nautilus up against the rail. Not afraid of that vertical weapon at all. And there's the uh, the mini bot for uh, for emulsifier. It's called the stick bot. Stick bot driven by Adam Wrigley. Adam Wrigley making his uh, Norwalk Havoc debut with a robot that looks like it was built in five minutes. Probably the opposite of Shatter, Kyle. A little bit. Wow. Oh! oh that was wow! massive. Oh, oh! That is not where Emulsifier wants to be. Up in the air and spinning. Yeah. Two, Two one. one. That's, That's the, the end of this fight. Turn off your weapon, Nautilus. Wow. Wow. Look Kyle, that. I was enjoying that match so much, I just totally lost track of time. This one goes to the judges. I swear I only saw like 60 seconds of that because it just, I want to see more. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And what happened to the top plate on Emulsifier at the end of there? That was crazy. I just can't see it in the box. All right, how you doing, fellas? Oh, are we going to go into a replay? What are we doing? Okay, yeah. Um... Let's start with Jack. Your thoughts on this fight, Emulsifier versus Nautilus. That was a very, very easy decision up until the last six seconds. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, but um, I am still going to go with who I thought won the fight up until that point because the hit that Nautilus got at the end there only really evened out the damage that Emulsify had done earlier, and Emulsify had a lot more control even after their weapon had gone down, and they were a lot more aggressive, so I would give that to Emulsify. Yep. All right. Don, your thoughts on this fight? Yeah, I agree with Jack. Emulsify did a very good job controlling the match and being very aggressive, um, even with the hit at the end. It just uh, evened out the damage all right but, yeah we've got two votes for emulsifier andrew your thoughts well let us ask my judges a quick question here before i make a decision i'm just curious what you guys thought was the damage done to 
uh, Nautilus there. I mean, Mulsar's weapon was down a majority of the fight. Um, so we've talked about evening out damage. It seems like damage is very clearly to Nautilus. I don't know if you could expand on that. Andrew's trying to uh, to sway his fellow judges. I love it. I think it. that's fair, yeah. not yeah. swaying. They've got their thing, and I know where this is heading. I was curious if there's any input on that. Um, I think it's a very close fight. I would go... Gosh. I'm going to go Nautilus on this one. Okay. All right, we have a split judges decision. Two votes for Emulsifier, one vote for Nautilus. Kyle, interesting. What did you think? Honestly, I would have given that one to Nautilus. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, because, I mean, it's fully operational. Is fully right? operational, and at the end of the fight... Got a big hit. Got that big hit. However, very little control, Kyle. You know, if you watch control. two people fight... And Aggression. If you watch two people fight and one of them can't use their arms at the end of the fight and the fight ends with them literally flying across the floor, who won the fight? Um, the guy who still has arms and didn't go flying across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, uh, you know, combat robotics is about control. There's control is a major part of combat robotics, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. There was great control from Emulsifier. Lovely control. But I will say that last hit, I looked over and uh, Emulsifier was still in the air. So we've got Rero Granger. She says, big shout out to the world of Woodrow for being newsboy supreme. Also, big up to the Spinner Proof Podcast. It is wholesome. Uh, it is wholesome Rara hour. Big heart shape emoji from Rara. That's five pounds from her. Thank you so much. Love to uh, to Rara there in the UK who is staying up late to uh, watch this on a Saturday night. Really appreciate yeah, that. Thanks to all of our, our European friends who are hanging out with us late into the night to watch this. Uh, we really appreciate you. All right, uh, we're going to go over to cage two. We've got Razor Storm versus Eight, Sepiol. Seven, Losers bracket six, round five. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Nice box rush there from Razor Storm. Oh, well, there goes half of Razor Storm's lifting mechanism. There goes the other half of Razor Storm's lifting mechanism. The drive belt seems to be missing on Razor Storm's right side. This is just a slow dismantling by Sepiel. Oh, that lifter arm is looking so very sad on Razor Storm, Kyle. Oh, it's very non-functional at this point. So let's see, what's still working on Razor Storm? <laughs> uh, less and less, Kyle. Left side of their drivetrain seems to still be working. Their weapon, not so much. And their lifter, not so much. It looks like the weapon on Sapiel is, is spinning down. Is, uh, is Lucas expecting that Razor Storm will be counted out? Actually, I think he was just... Looks like he was changing the direction there. Interesting. Wow. Okay. A minute 45 left in this oh. fight. Oh! Oh, Nasty. no! Kyle, you can see the inside of the robot. All the backplate ripped off. And then the wiring wow. gets entangled oh around God. the weapon. Yeah, that's a knockout. Wow. All right, so your winner of that match, Sepiel. Round of applause for Sepiel. That was a really brutal match. Brutal. And right at the end, we saw those wires just getting twisted around inside of the uh, the weapon of Sepiel. All right, so we've got a super chat, 10 pounds. <laughs> Kyle. From Kyle. 12 pound box. Milk tank is blowing bubbles inside of the big box. I, I, I love this builder. I This is just so uh, delightful. This is my favorite robot. I mean, listen, I, I, I need the Milk Tank t-shirt. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask for it. You're gonna have it. to. All right, so this Look is at this, this is a totally new Milk Tank. Owobotics sent us $10 to say, join Combat Robot Floor Posting on Facebook. It's the best group. Uh, they had their one year anniversary recently. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. And there we go, bubble machine on top of the robot. I guess there's no rule against bubble machine. Oh! 
Now I hear a weapon. Is that that must be Busy B? Is that right inside of the box? Yes, that's Busy B. And Milk Tank has a. Oh, oh my! <laughs> oh no! I think at this point, Milk Tank is just. Oh, I see. It's severed. It's a. Uh, it's reservoir of uh, of bubble. Bubble uh, uh, water, and uh, really at this point, Milk Tank is just trying.